Hi, I'm Tom Lewis Chiavo, Chemistry Education Manager at Pasco Scientific, and I'm here today to talk about glow sticks. Glow sticks come in a variety of shapes and sizes and are very popular, especially at this time of year. They also involve a good bit of chemistry. Glow sticks are an example of a chemiluminescent process. What that means is the reactants react to produce an energy in the form of light. We're going to study that light using our light level sensor. So the way the uh, glow stick works is there are two separate containers and when you break it the container containing the hydrogen peroxide mixes with the container containing the phenyl oxalate ester and fluorescent dye and you get this nice glowing stick. Now to study that using our light level sensor we're going to do that in a darkened vessel and we're going to use SparkView. So I'm going to set up SparkView to show the light level on a graph. Now to do this, I want to do the reaction um, in a, I want to separate the reactants. So I took a glow stick and I cut the top off. Pardon me while I change into some safer goggles. And I cut the top off and I'm going to pour one of the reactants into the beaker. And then I'm going to break the vial. And pour the other reactant in. And now I'm going to make sure they're nice and mixed. And I'm going to put them in my vessel. Line up my light sensor. And start data collection. I'm going to auto scale the graph. And you can see immediately, even though you don't, your eyes don't detect it, you can see immediately that the uh, light level is decreasing over time. So this actually provides a great opportunity for inquiry with your students. You can have them try to figure out how to make the light brighter, how to make it last longer, how to make it go faster, see what temperature effects would do to all of those things. Um, but there's a, a good bit of chemistry to have with these fun little toys um, around this time of year. If you want to learn more about this process, you can check out the uh, PASCO blog. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at chemistry at pasco.com. So have a safe and happy Halloween. Thank you.